Yamaha presents The Whitetail Diaries, chronicling hunting adventures of the most plentiful and intelligent big game animal in North America. Join top whitetail hunters nationwide. Embark on the amazing adventure that is hunting the whitetail deer. Tail Diaries. The fourth annual Yamaha Outdoors media event is underway at the start of rifle season right here in South Texas. Several outdoor writers join host Wade Middleton for a week of field testing, hunting, and product evaluations on a wide range of Yamaha vehicles. Basically, Yamaha's bringing in an event with a bunch of our media guys we work with, a couple of our enthusiast guys that have a lot of ATV side-by-side -side riding experience, a couple that have a lot of outdoors experience, maybe not so much experience with riding ATVs and side-by-side, -side, so kind of get that best of both worlds. Some of them might be their, their first time on an ATV or side-by-side, -side and get them out to show how our vehicles really work in these real world situations. And the great thing about Wade's camp is for one, they pretty much have our full lineup out here. Everything from the Kodiak 450, um, all the way up to our Viking 6 Ranch Edition, and even our all new Wolverine X4, four passenger side by side that we do have. When you get to experience it in these situations that you know a lot of the guys that don't have a lot of experience, it's just easy for them to use. And that's always something we try to convey to everyone. So you literally can just jump on the vehicle, go off, drive it, make sure you have your safety gear on and everything. But when it comes to our durability and reliability, all you have to do is just change the oil and clean the air filter out, and that's really it. So basically low maintenance stuff overall, but it's gonna get you out there and do what you need to do. And when we get to shill it off to the media while we're here too, it's just all the better and you know, kind of more of a relaxed situation. So they all get to have a good time and yeah, just make some good memories while we're at it. So we got to come and ride the new Wolverine X4 and and uh, play around the Viking 6 and the the, the Kodiak, Yamaha Kodiak ATV is here, the 450 and the 700, the Yamaha Grizzly is here. So we get you know, be riding some ATVs and UTVs and we're hunting and experience camp, experiencing camp life and uh, eating way too much food. That's, uh, that's all I can ask for. Those, uh, those Yamahas, uh, they're definitely a workhorse. I knew UTVs were significant and they were a huge help. Um, I didn't think they would be as big of a help as they were on this hunt. We did have a lot of gear. I'm used to going by myself, having to pack things in, and then drag it out to wherever I can get a truck. So these UTVs really helped with that because there wasn't much dragging. You could fit them dang near anywhere. And especially with how narrow all the trees are here in Texas, it's it'd be a struggle to get a truck back where we got those UTVs. So it's always nice when you have something else doing the work for you. Now don't go anywhere. We got a lot of whitetail action involving both bows and rifles coming up as Lucas Cooney and Connor McKibbins head out on their first hunts of the week. Stay tuned. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's your adventure starts here. Garmin Zero, leave the guesswork behind. The all new Yamaha Wolverine X2. With a compact chassis, perfect for exploring tight technical terrain. An ultra quiet and smooth 850 class twin cylinder engine. And next level versatility with a 600 pound dumping cargo bed. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, we stand together for you. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. 
The Yamaha Media Event and Deer Hunt is underway. The first hunter we'll go out with is Connor McKibbins from the NRA's American Hunter Magazine. Uh, I picked up Connor at the airport and right away you could tell he was excited. Uh, this is his first whitetail experience. The kid grew up in Colorado. I say kid. I can say kid. He's much younger than me. He's young and it's his first time hunting whitetails in Texas. This is his first time hunting whitetails. Uh, again, grew up in Colorado, he's chased elk, he's chased mule deer, he's not new to hunting by any stretch, and he works for the NRA, so he's not new to firearms either, but first whitetail experience, how, how cool is that? It was really misty, really foggy, uh, got light a lot later than we were expecting it to. I didn't know what to expect as far as deer numbers. Um, I know Wade had said that was a good spot, and that's why he put us there, and at first, we could see outlines of a couple deer moving and then as it got lighter, more deer started coming out of the woodwork. So watching them kind of materialize was pretty neat. That first morning when we saw that seven point, um, he was pacing back and forth. He kept making loops going back and forth. Uh, he'd cut into the trees and come back out. So you have to really be picky about your shot with uh, that many deer and one confined area. There were times where he'd start turning and then a deer would come and in front of him and stamp in front of him and block a broadside shot. It was a good uh, reminder to always be aware of what's beyond your target and what's in front of it. So deer do what they do and can't always help it. We're definitely not in a hurry. You know, it's the first morning. It's opening rifle uh, weekend. It's Saturday and, and we've got several days to hunt and, and I want to give Connor a good Texas whitetail experience. You know, we, he's seeing tons of deer. He's super excited, you can tell. And uh, we're going to go and, and see what we can see in the afternoon. Steve and Connor headed back to Middle Field where they hunted in the morning to see if that seven point would be there again. Well, but unfortunately, he was a no-show. Determined to have one more shot at this seven point, Steve and Connor headed back out to the same area in the morning on day number two. And sure enough, there he was. We were waiting and waiting for first light to come up and first we weren't seeing him and then it got bright enough. We saw him off to the left of where we saw him come out the day before and we were still watching him and he eventually got clear. He was facing broadside to, to the right and... Preload if you can. I am not one to talk. I am one to sympathize or empathize. He shot over his back. He missed him. Uh, it's clean miss, which, you know, the silver linings, obviously we don't, we don't want to wound a deer. I hate to bring up the words two shot, but I, I've clean missed several deer and I felt bad for Connor. He probably was not excited about it in the moment. You know, we were all pleased that the deer was not hit. It was a clean miss, but the deer was off the field. Every deer was out of that field at that point. So our hunt's over. So I'm glad I missed clean. Um, that made me feel personally a lot better about that shot just because I knew I didn't hit him at all. We didn't even see any branches break on film, so hopefully somebody gets him heat because he's a nice buck. Coming up, it's redemption time for Connor and Steve, and a change of scenery may just be the key. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Performance when it matters most. Angle Coolers, a legend in reliability. Sawyer product. We keep you outdoors. Walkers. Protect it or lose it. aim a 36 yard shot with a 30 yard fixed pin at a 15 degree angle with a seven inch holdover without moving a single pin easy you get one of these zero the auto ranging digital bow sight from Garmin what does it take to make ever calm deer scent 
It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. That smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. Man versus nature. It's a tale as old as time. An external struggle pitting the hero against an animal in a battle of strength and wits to see who will come out victorious. Will you accept the challenge? Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. It's the annual Yamaha media event and deer hunt. Connor and Steve are hunting a new field after not having any luck kneeling down that seven point. With him being spooked twice, I don't want to go back and come up empty handed. So that evening we were, uh, we were in a box blind. This was an elevated box blind, had windows everywhere. It was hot in that blind. A lot hotter than I was expecting with it being kind of cool that day. Sun was beating right inside the front of it. Um, so it made for a little bit of a little bit of an uncomfortable sit, but um, it was definitely doable, and it was totally worth it. The field we were looking out in, um, it was nice, long stretch of land. Um, there were a lot of access points coming in from all directions, so we had a lot of opportunities to see different deer moving in and out. And it's hot. Man, it's hot, especially hot in the box. There's no wind to begin with, and man, I was sweating like crazy. But luckily, it wasn't but 20 minutes before deer started filtering in this field, and it wasn't but about 30 or 40 before we had this mature eight walk in that all of a sudden starts turning all our heads. That's a solid mature eight. Dude, he's a dominant deer out here. Yeah, oh, he's mature. I mean, it's your fault, dude. You, you, got, you got one spot. I was a little honestly hesitant about shooting just because my confidence was a bit down from missing that seven point earlier, but I knew I could shoot and I knew the rifle shoots, so, um, and the rest was a little bit uh, more solid there just because we had a wider base to set the, the handguard on and the elevation was just right. Celebrating son. He dropped straight down. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done, man. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, he uh Mr. Way is gonna be super pleased with that tracking job. He's right there. He went two feet straight to the ground, dude. That was awesome. <laughs> Did you feel good? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I could hear the I could feel the heart rate, the breathing, but you got it under control. That's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> so what we were shooting this week was a Smith & Wesson M&P 10 Performance Center in 6.5 Creedmoor, which I never shot before, but I have operated other uh, ARs before I'm actually building one myself. As far as hunting with one, though, this was a first time hunting with an AR-style rifle. My, my standards have been raised because of that M&P, so that Smith & Wesson definitely, that's lights out. He's a big boy, man. That's a good session. Yeah. Go ahead and lean down, put your hands on. He's got a good mass. Yeah. 
That's awesome. It's got some, I like that chip that just shows. He was Robin. Yeah, Fine Robin. Spar character. Yeah. yeah. He's, he looks like he's got a pretty old face to me. He's a good boy. He's a good sized deer. I mean, he's a, we see a lot of these down here. These, these good, good mass, yeah. eight points. You know, he's not super white, he's not super tall. Yeah. But again, we're talking about your first white tail. And he curls Texas a lot. The main he does come around. A lot. He does come around. I love this stuff through here. You get all the people, stubble. The gnarls and all of that. Yeah. yeah. I just, I, I'm impressed by how old he looks. I, I may be, I'm still still trying to learn how to age deer, but no doubt he's mature. I just don't know how old he is, so we'll we'll talk about him with Wade and figure it out, but this is where he stood when you shot him. So. Yeah. Dude, I, I'm happy for you, I'm proud. I'm happy. I think, uh, I, I know you've got some stories to tell. I know you've got uh, some reasons to come back and try some more deer at some yeah. point, so hopefully oh, we can get yeah. you back down to South Texas again, but I hope you're just a little bit addicted. Definitely. Totally happy with this deer. I learned a whole lot about whitetail hunting with this being my first hunt. Um, saw some things I didn't expect to see whitetail hunting um, as far as numbers and um, it all worked out in the end and I'm, I'm really happy with that eight point. I don't think Connor stopped smiling that entire evening. From the moment he made that shot all the way until he was texting his brains out back in camp, telling his coworkers and his family and his friends that he had his first whitetail. Uh, it's fun. I think Wade said it's, it's, it's moments like that. First whitetail for people, uh, first deer for people that make all the, the work during the summer worth it. And uh, everybody's excited for Connor. Congratulations, Connor, on your first entry into the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. Now up next, Lucas Cooney has a decision to make between two great bucks. I gotta, I have to put my eggs in that basket. I'm going for it. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. High vis shooting systems. See what you've been missing. Quick draw mineral blocks. A difference you can see. High vis shooting systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All high vis shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable light wave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, light wave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot high vis. See what you've been missing. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. Introducing the Stealth NXT, the narrowest and most accurate 10 point crossbow ever. Measuring an ultra-narrow six inches wide, the Stealth NXT unleashes devastating speeds up to 410 feet per second, generating jaw-dropping kinetic energy and match-grade downrange accuracy, all on a whisper-quiet shot, three times quieter than the competition. The all-new Stealth NXT from 10 Point. Ingles got the original high-performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers, go with the original. Protect it or lose it. 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 When I was in special ops, 
Every item had a purpose, or it got left behind. It's no different today. If it doesn't protect me, or help me perform at the highest level, I've got no use for it. Otherwise, I don't come back with whatever it is I set out to get. Wiley X, Ballistic Rated Eyewear. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Wrapping up this episode's coverage of the Yamaha Media Event, we head off to well-renowned Killing Tree with the editor of ATV.com, Lucas Cooney. Uh, my name is Lucas Cooney. I'm the editor of ATV.com, which is, a, is an off-road site. That's kind of how I know the Yamaha guys. And I also look after video production for archerytalk.com, which is the biggest archery website uh, online. So I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone here, or two deer with one stone, I should say. Uh, give me a chance to kind of cover this from multiple angles. We got there, again, well before sunrise. Uh, so I couldn't see anything for a little while, but I can, you can hear some things moving around. And then once I got to see a little bit, I saw a beautiful looking set of antlers just reflected in a pond. I was just eyeballing them for what felt like an hour before he finally got into view. And I thought it was a really nice, nice deer. Um, probably a four year old uh, six by five. Uh, just a beautiful deer, and so I kind of had him on, and as my target, as my target buck, and he just was, uh, he was kind of hanging around a little farther away than I was comfortable with, and never in a great position. But then there was a bunch of other deer around, and then another real old buck was wandering around, and he was sitting 20 yards away and in a quite a good shooting position, and so I was like, oh, maybe I'm going to change my focus on him. And then Wade was behind me, and he mentioned, there's a real, real nice deer a little farther back, and we saw that, and that was like a, that was a, that was a, a jaw-dropping kind of deal, like, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wait. So I was very tempted to take a shot of that one that was giving me a quarter away shot at 20 yards. But then we decided to, decided to wait and see if that, uh, that other deer came in a little bit later. And he didn't, so we missed it. We didn't have a chance in the morning. And I was a little bit, I was worried I, I, I had a wasted opportunity because I wasn't sure if I was going to get put on a, another shooter. And then we went back in the afternoon again. We got there pretty early before there was any any signs of uh, signs of life for a while and then we said a couple does started coming and then a couple more does started coming and maybe a little spike and this and that uh, but nothing nothing substantial nothing was, that was a shooter and then that six by five I saw in the morning was there again he almost looked different after I saw after I saw the big guy in the morning still good though I thought oh, if this is all I'm gonna get a chance to shoot I'm, I'm gonna try to take this deer so I drew my bow back and, uh, and was trying to put my pin on him. And as I was doing that, he turned his back to me. He had to, I had to let down and he walked off and I was thinking, oh my goodness, I missed my chance. And then Wade kind of gave me a little <clears throat> and then we saw the buck from the morning that we were hoping for and then, then I got excited again. And as I was watching him, that six by five came by again in perfect position, 20 yards, and he basically did a slow walk across me for 20 minutes with a makeable shot that entire 20 minute stretch. And I think, God, do I take that shot? But then that other deer was there like, I gotta, I have to put my eggs in that basket. I'm going for it. Man. Eventually he uh, worked his way to about 37 yards and gave me a pretty much broadside shot. Maybe just the slightest quartering to it, but it was pretty much pure broadside. He smoked him. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's been about 30 of the longest minutes of my life. Now we're gonna go see if we can find that deer. I'm still shaking. That's good though. All right. 
and we found the arrow and saw that it was covered in blood, so it was a, it was a, it was a straight through and through. Whew. All right, that's a good sign. Over there. Oh, he's there. There's my deer. He's right there. Goodness. I think I hard punched him. I guess you, I would probably call him a six by five with an extra kicker, so almost a 12 point, if, uh, but that's probably being generous. He's got a little one inch kicker on the front, on the, uh, on the right side. Um, he's got a kind of split G2, so a little crab claw, a beautiful, big, fully matured deer. This was a deer that uh, I had dreamed about somebody getting and, and seeing after all these encounters. And when I watched that arrow disappear and pass going through that, it was, it was, that was a cool feeling because I knew how much Lucas was going to appreciate it. Hey, congratulations, Lucas, on a stud of a buck. Well, that'll wrap up our primary coverage of the Yamaha Media Event. Join us next week as we dive into some of the crazy things that can happen while hunting. And I see they're, they're shining. There's just something on this, on this deer's head. I can't remember all the words he was saying, but it was, to the point, you know, something crazy has happened. You're gonna freak out when you see what's happened here. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos when the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all-new 4K camera by StealthCam. Proven. Purina's Quick Drop is the perfect solution for attracting deer to your location and providing them with the essential nutrients that will encourage their growth. Use these blocks where you can and I promise you, not only are you going to see more game, but the game's going to benefit from you placing it out.